Good afternoon, everyone. We are going to make a sourdough starter. So what you're going to need is some kind of a glass or ceramic bowl that holds at least two to three quarts. So, and you're going to also need a um, silicone or a wooden spoon of some sort to stir this together. So what you need is a packet of yeast and you're going to need two cups of warm spring water. Okay, so I have my two cups of warm water in here. Now to this, we're going to add two teaspoons of sugar. There's one. And there's two. Now you want to go ahead and give this a little whisk. And then we're going to get ready to add our yeast. All right, y'all, so now you want to put your yeast in here. And you want to stir this around and you want to let this sit for 10 minutes okay you want it to get bubbly so we're gonna go ahead and give this a little stir and then we're gonna go ahead and give this 10 minutes all right y'all so now there's bubbles all on the top of here now we're gonna start off with one cup of flour and then we're going to whisk this together. You're going to need two total. Now, there will be some lumps in here. You're not going to be able to get them all out, but they will dissolve. So I'm going to stir this one up. And then we're going to get the other one in here. All right, now here's our second cup. We got that in here, and we're going to go ahead and give this a stir. All right, y'all, so that's the two cups that are in there. You can see the bubbles starting to form. That means the yeast is working. So what you want to do is you want to put a, either a cheesecloth over top of this or a towel. And um, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. We want to set that over top of this so uh, it can breathe. So now what you're going to do is after you cover this, you do not want this to reach above 100 degrees because it will kill the yeast. So you want to use something, um, like I said, a dish towel or something, so it can put the air can pass through. Okay, so now you need to allow this to sit two to four days before you feed this. Okay, so again, make sure you use either a rubber spatula or a wooden spoon or a rubber whisk or something like that. So as the mixture ferments, it will rise in the container and it will fall. This is going to be normal. And why it's important to use um, a larger bowl because this rises and expands. So once your starter starts to bubble in two to four days, the process varies depending on your house condition, your heat, your humidity, and your altitude. It's time to start feeding it. You can generally tell it is ready when it develops a kind of like a sour smell. So then you want to start feeding it. So before you use your starter for the first time, you want to feed it. So remember, your starter is a living thing and it needs to be fed to thrive. Okay. So this will last years um, if you keep feeding it and you take care of it. So... Um, you want to, in order to feed it, you want to remove one cup of this batter out of here, okay? And you want to put it in a Ziploc baggie. You can give it to a friend, or you can save it. You can put it in your freezer. So you can give it to somebody else so they can start their own. Um, so what they will need to do is, when they get it, they need to add one cup of flour and one cup of warm water to 110 degrees, okay? You want to stir it. And follow the directions from you know on out so you can throw it away you can freeze it you don't have to keep it every time but you do have to feed it so you can have bread every few days or whatever you want to do so um, you want to add one cup of flour and one cup of warm water you want to whisk this into the batter cover it and allow it to become active again so um, you can use this for breads, rolls, pancakes, waffles. I actually have a pancake and a waffle mix. Um, using this is also on there. I'll put a link below this so you can click on that if you want to try those. So um, you can make tons of different stuff for this. 
So as a general rule of thumb, um, feed your starter daily, removing three quarters to one cup of batter and replacing it with the same amount of flour and water. Okay, and every once in a while you can add a teaspoon of sugar to tame your starter if it's too sour. Okay, so I will list all of what I just told you in the directions. And also it's in my cookbook, which I was reading off to you on page 69. And then it continues over here on to 70. Okay. So, again, it's all in here, and also the sourdough pancakes and waffles are also in here as well. So, I hope everybody gives this a try. I had a few people that requested this. So, this is how you make your sourdough starter or your friendship starter or whatever you want to do. So, I'll put a link for the cookbooks. Um, you can purchase those. That recipe is in there. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and let me know if you have any questions.